Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And now it is time to go to our pop culture streets because we need to talk about not only that, the queen, princess, duke, whatever you want to call her, well, duchess, whatever you want to call her, of pop, Miss Britney Spears, okay? Because she is putting everything out there as usual. But now, not only she is exposing her mom and another people with text messages, with receipts as we like it, okay? But also, apparently, it's getting like her next work and that she is ready to return. And we definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Hey, Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can you Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better it's bitch better i'm shaking i'm physically shaking so miss britney spears you know that she has gone through so much like it has been insane the amount of drama and problems and everything that she has been going with her family with the conservatorship with the assholes around her you know and she's finally free still I think she's still working into like adjusting to this new life of finally being free of like finally being able to do things for herself. But that doesn't mean that that is going to happen from one day to another. You know, now she can definitely t tell to herself that she is a work in progress because she is learning how to live a normal life by herself without people controlling every move that she does without people as uh, telling her what to do or what not to do you know without people like pushing her or exploiting her and doing things that she didn't even want to do finally she is free to do whatever the fuck she wants you know so she's kind of like you know, playing the fields, walking on eggshells, trying to understand who is really there for her, who is not there for her, and like navigating this new world. Like imagine, this world is already hard. Now imagine being in a world when you don't really know who you can trust because everyone wants literally a piece of you. So she's definitely doing that. And I applaud her the way that she has been handling things her wedding, her marriage to Sam, uh, the way that she didn't jump into do any crazy things right away. She's literally taking her time, little by little. I really appreciate it because it really show us that Britney is a strong, independent woman and that she can make things happen. Now, she is definitely not happy with her family. I don't think she will ever be okay with her family. And I think that's something that... Um, they will have to live with because they did her so wrong for so many years that it will be even stupid to try to think that Britney Spears could eventually be okay with what with one of you know her family members. They all use her and exploit her so much for so many years that she's definitely i mean she needs a lot of of therapy. Let's just say it like that, you know, to even be able to like forgive these people and i think one of the ways that she shows these things is by constantly exposing them and really putting in who these people really are because these people like especially the sister you know and all, they, they really like to go there um, and say like they were saints and like we were there for her oh my god she never realized that oh my god i feel so bad and like bullshit you know and all of that so i'm thinking like i'm loving that britney it's like oh no i'm gonna be exposing these motherfuckers because they slave me for 13 years believe me i am not gonna be just like going going quietly so she uh, exposed some text messages on instagram as usual with a huge post as usual uh, then she took them down. So I don't know, maybe for legal reasons or something, but you know, when a listers and all of that, you can post something for one second and the whole world already is going to have screenshots. So I have it to you for you. You know, these are some messages, um, that she did with her mom and some other people. 
the first one says, and this is with the mom, and she, and he was saying, I think, I think this is from Britney to her mom. I think she's saying he he was saying he wants to up the Seroquel, and I'm like, whoa, horsey, go fuck yourself. Seroquel, I thought was a sleep aid, but it's for bipolar, and I and is way stronger than lithium. I literally feel all the sick medicine in my stomach. I feel like he's trying to kill me. I swear to God, I do. And another message to. Jansen says, okay, I need John Bell's number, please, when you can. And then she says, also, what about the lithium levels in your opinion and it's being monitored for so long? Of course, they can make up any excuse to keep doing it, but is it really healthy and okay to give blood for that long? I have a feeling you say, you will say, I will be okay, but I still doesn't make sense. Like, literally taking blood for so long. I have no idea what they're trying to do with this girl. And then on another one, it says, um, I think this is with Sam. He's saying, I don't need approval, but yes, I'm coming. She says, great. I want to talk about going to court when this is done and getting my medical rights. My boyfriend, the right to spend the night with me. How can I leave early? The plan I have you for last month or whatever the fuck these fucking people want from me. In court, my boyfriend needs to be able to see my children. I have been in... I've I've been in the what for twelve years. I want it over. I would like to replace two security guards with new. I would like to have a day in who comes to my house for security. When this program is over, I don't want to work at all. I want to live for me and have an adventurous life. I want asshole Benson to let me drive again. I want to go on three vacations this year. Yeah, I mean, these are very weird messages, but I think what she was trying to put out there is that she definitely voiced herself several times, you know, and that she definitely was not heard many times. Now, let's read the message. It says, since I'm such a loved person, there is so much to talk about y'all. I will be honest. I woke up sometimes and forget I can't have coffee. I'm so damn blessed. Like I said, I'm reflecting back this week. I know about backs because I have two boys and my back is a beast sometimes. Reflecting back is a crazy thing. Moving into a new home. To be honest, I hate the moving process. All my suits are gone. My favorite blazers, the one I bought at men's stores on the sale rack and got 20% off. I got extra small. I had a pretty nice collection. All gone. But I am not mad about it. I'm grateful for this day. I get to have a hot, fresh cup of coffee. It's brewing at the moment. I like the smell of it almost more than the taste of it. Reflecting back, here are some pictures of my family. I am reflecting back because it was during COVID when the conservatorship was still in place and I couldn't have the keys to my car or leave my home. But as you can see, my sister and my dad are out together and my husband and his sisters are all out having coffee. They be so cool, y'all. Why are all my doings always blessed? How come not one person knows my sister is building a huge home in Louisiana? How come their lives aren't exposed? Mine has been exposed in press with the document documentaries as a joke. I am a joke in the press. Not very nice if you ask me. Since people can all candidly get a kick out of me, I would truthfully enjoy showing up in my family's homes to see what secrets they are hiding. I mean, my mom hid 9 million things whenever I walked into the kitchen when I was home. The movie Ratatouille, I like that movie. It's about food, you know. Well, I just wanted to share with my beautiful family. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that what she's trying to put out there is like how 
all her family usually like control her and manipulate her and gaslight her constantly and you know as long as she has all these receipts i think it's okay for her to put it out there so we keep seeing what kind of family uh the spirits family actually is so that's one thing the other uh, very quickly thing is like according to page six britney spears has been meeting with elton john to do a new version of a song and it could be the first big song that britney spears will be releasing after this whole mess that she just lived you know so let's wait and see how that is gonna go i will really hope that if she's gonna release a new song it's it will be a hit you know, like something that we can dance all night long and just party, party, party and just have fun. But you know what? This is a new Britney. So it's going to be kind of like discovering a new artist at this point, you know. So let's see what she has in mind for her new life. And let's all support whatever she decided to do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole mess. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.